producer spotlight with Mr. Instro. You can be a beat maker and not be a music producer. But when you're a music producer, you don't have to be a beat maker. Only on the elements. Mr. Instro is here. I'm here. That's all I wanted to say. I don't have time for a whole hell of a lot. Quarter past one on the element. So Wednesday, mm-hmm. producer spotlight. Hi, Mr. Instro. Hey. How are you? Yo, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that about? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel good. Mm, I just wanted to let people know that Mr. Instro really gets it. I'm wearing all black today and so is he. I keep yeah. talking about the rest of the team. Side eyes everywhere. Hey. Who don't get the memo. But it's fine. It just lets me know we're we're about to have a really, really dope time. Yes. So today we're looking at uh, Scott Spencer Storch. Yes. Yours. He's a uh, he's an incredible. Uh, he's an yeah. He's amazing. Um, the piano I think man. The piano man. Ye. And you know, um, I wanted to start the 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 conversation with uh, you know narcotics, but. It just hit me that like yeah he's an incredible piano man yes <laughs> and here's here's advice to you know upcoming producers if you're thinking of being a producer and you want to start making music uh it's so important you know it's not necessary but it's important to play an instrument i was gonna and ask you yeah and you know he is the perfect example of what that can do for you mm-hmm. um um, he started off in his early teens. I think he, he was 13 mm-hmm. when um, he started uh, playing piano. He said they had an upright piano at oh. at his house. His dad used to play as well. Oh, cool. So, so yeah, like he's um, he's been around, you know, the piano space. And that has, you know, obviously propelled um, him to even excel. Because he even said that he didn't have... Um, he didn't have the classical training. Right. Um he 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 did like a couple of of lessons and his teacher was was amazed because he was playing jazz soulful chords and to him he was just playing without like formal training. Exactly. Right. And he was like, "Yo, man, you're no good here. Just just go keep <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just go and and practice and 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 get better. You know, um, and he did. You know, um, shout out to his teacher because I find that some people might not be confident enough to do that, yeah, and might have wanted to box him in and be like, you have to be classically trained. And I find that sometimes when you go through that kind of process, it takes away from the creativity and the raw talent because then you just want to play according to certain conventions. It does, and um, that's another thing for for producers i was i was actually uh gonna say that it's it's important not just to you know learn how to play an instrument as you would be taught Mm -hmm. but if you've if you've got that talent in you that the stuff will naturally come to you Mm -hmm. um and don't limit yourself to a guitar or a piano. Or, right. I mean, we've got so many other instruments that we can uh, experiment with. I know I started uh, with the piano, right. but um, I moved on to the MPC. Mm. And that's an instrument on its own. Yes, it's a sampler. Yes, you can make beats with it. But right. it's definitely an incredible instrument uh, I adopted it and made it my own like drum set so ah, I can the, play the finger drumming that the you f- do the, the finger <laughs> drumming that I do which is coming yeah very nicely you know I'm very Yay. excited about that um another thing uh, um to mention about Scott Storch is uh he eventually joined the Roots crew. Yes, as right? the pianist for the Roots. Yes, pianist uh, Fender Rhodes, Fender Rhodes player for, uh, for for the Roots, and that's another thing I'd like to advise up and coming producers: start bands, guys. You hmm. know, make this thing interesting, collaborate, and um, it it'll definitely you know widen your horizons about music in general you know right. just being able to pick other people's brains and just being in a creative space with other creatives yeah that can do so much for you so when you mention uh bands i think of stta yes yeah wow 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 They're stta incredible. is um is is so incredible um the, it consists of um 
two DJs. Right. P Cutter. Uh, P Cutter. Uh, uh, Reiko, my man. Shout yes. out to Reiko, my man. Um, Pasta Abdul. A Pasta Abdul on the live drums. Yeah. And then Jonique on the vocals. Yeah. And he also uh, plays a bit on the, on MBC. the machine. Okay. Yeah. So um, they're also a dynamic new age band and they kill each and every time and that's what you want you want that kind of uh, uh, production influence because all of them are producers all of them make beats all of them are in that space so when they come together magic happens that's very true i i know as a consumer of of stta uh, they should have hired me as the number one tracker <laughs> <laughs> Number one twerker and hype girl for STTA. We're chopping it up a little bit more on the other side of Lil' Kim with Lights Is Up. It's the producer spotlight right here on The Element with myself and Mr. Instro until half past one. It is the producer spotlight with myself and Mr. Instro. I yep. think that the whole segment is really dope, but you just geeked out and you were like, yo, this part right here. <laughs> what are we about to do? What are we about to talk um, about? Okay, just to wrap things up from the last um, segment, yeah. last segment, right? It's important to play an instrument. Right. Just like like uh, Scott Storch did, yes. right? That'll give you a, a very big edge. Uh, edge and it'll give you insight on, you know, stepping out of what already is there. You mm -hmm. know, you have a better music, uh, you know, music knowledge um, and you flourish, yeah. you know, um, and you'll be able to build relationships with other musicians. Okay. Um, and you'll be able to start a band, produces... <laughs> Please be like STTA. Start bands. It's so important to collaborate and to make music that doesn't exist already, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so, yeah, collaboration is key. Um, okay, so now let's move to... The darker side, maybe? The darker side, yes. Right. The darker side, which is um, inspiration. How far are you willing as a producer to get inspiration? You yeah. know, as we know, Scott Storch's story, he got addicted to cocaine. Yes. And uh, apparently he lost over 100 mil. I can believe that. I was watching a documentary. Um, I don't know if it was, I don't think it was the evolution of hip hop, but it was a docky, a hip hop mm. docky. Or oh, maybe it was one of those MTV things where they zero in on a particular person. Yeah. And they were showing all the assets that he had. Yeah. And subsequently lost the big car, sure. the big house, all of it, all of it, all of it. And uh, they were like, he literally blew it all on cocaine. He did. He did. Um, and that is the, unfortunately, the dark side of, you know, being in a, in a place where you're doing really well mm. and you're making so much money and mm. you have access to, you know, all sorts of things, cars, uh, women, right. you know, and obviously drugs, uh, you know, they play a very big part in, you know, staying that way. Um, so, um, a, a lot of producers I know smoke weed. Yeah, a, um, lot of, a lot of producers smoke weed, a lot of artists also. Yes. And then over the past few years, uh, lean, lean became a thing. Yes. And uh, we've, we've started to see the effects of, of heavy leaning through people like Lil Wayne. Yep, yep. Um, but now, what if, Mr. Instro, somebody argues you're being a square because you've you've been in this game mm. and now you feel like you know better. We get a better coffee. Yeah. You know, so what if they're like, but that that's just a part of the industry. That's just the way things go. We blunt, we go into the stew, we create magic and everybody's happy uh you know um it took me a long time to to actually understand that a lot of things are normalized but they're not necessarily good for you hmm. you know a lot that. of people smoke a lot of people drink and i'm indifferent about it right. if you feel you want to do it then yo go ahead but i'm good i don't drink i don't smoke um but i used to mm -hmm. um and for me, um, I see it like this, right? If I smoke weed mm -hmm. and I get to work for four hours every day, right? By Saturday, I'm finished. I'm finished, right? Right. Unlike if I'm sober mm -hmm. and work one and a half hours mm -hmm. every day, I'll I'll go easily from sunday to sunday right without being tired without still having the same output mm -hmm. than the guy who would be 
uh, doing all sorts of things my time will actually be much better used and because valuable, yeah yeah because i won't need to sleep it off i won't need to <laughs> right. you know what i mean like there won't be a uh, certain thing so please guys get me clear right if you want to drink yo go ahead if if you want to smoke everybody has choice yeah you you can do whatever you want but you need to make sure that it doesn't come in the way of what needs to be done mm -hmm. and i have seen this that it becomes a problem with consistency a lot of people because they use it as 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 vi uh, as a vice they find themselves not being consistent mm -hmm. and you don't want to do that when you're a producer you're you're literally dry the driver you're the driver of the project right. so you need to always be on top of things right and if you do silly things like you know getting too drunk exactly. getting too high yep yep then yo then you're working backwards and that's not what being a producer is about that's not what being a producer is about so Polly's yeah. on standby we have to go to Polly quickly but before that i literally just need you to answer yes or no i yes. know you're gonna want to explain but we don't have time for that okay are you a better producer now that you are sober yes all right i wonder if it's something that we should do for producers go six months or three months without any kind of substance create in those three months and, and then see what happens. go back on it and see the difference in terms of what is produced during the sober time and yeah. what is produced during the it doesn't even time. have to be that long it can just be a month do it for a month and create for a month that's how confident i am in you know working the sober way the sober life yeah. all right we'll put it out there to the people but right now with 28 minutes to go before we hit two o'clock it's time for us to get into another one ah mr instro but it's fine we're getting into another appreciation kitsini today the bully and uh, so that means that we'll be playing nothing but kitsini until we hit two o'clock tweet him on at kitsini tweet us on at massive metro at the element sa hashtag kitsini appreciation right here on hashtag the element let's go the producer spotlight with Mr. Instro. You can be a beat maker and not be a music producer. But when you're a music producer, you don't have to be a beat maker. Only on the elements.